Hello everyone, welcome back. Uh, here is Van Amsen with another live coding uh, session. Today we got uh, an exciting problem to tackle. It's a mathematical challenge that involves breaking down number. It's called integer break and I think you will find it quite interesting. And the task is simple. Given an integer n, we need to break it into the sum of at least two positive integer and maximum uh, the product of uh, those integer as well. So for instance, if uh, our input is 10, we can break it down uh, into, yeah, let's write it down. So 10 might be uh, rewrite as three plus three plus four. And as you can see, the product of three, uh, three, four will be uh, 36. So this is our uh, output and maximum product. Uh, and uh, interestingly, uh, now you might wonder why not break it down? Uh, so 10 might be also five uh, plus five. Uh, and then we will have five times five, but then it will equal 25. And uh, this is less than our previous 36. Uh, so, uh, there is a pattern we need to uh, find. Uh, so uh, after analyzing different number combination, a pattern emerge and the number three plays a significant role in uh, maximizing the product. Uh, I won't dive deep uh, into the mathematics right now, but trust me, it's fascinating. Uh, and all right, enough talk. Let's code this solution live. So first we will handle some base cases uh, for N2 and N3. Uh, the result are one and two uh, respectively. So uh, let's write edge cases. So if n is two, return one. And if n is three, return uh, two. So uh, next we want to find out how many times uh, three divides our number. And Python div mode function is handy here as it gives us both uh, quotient and the remainder as well. So number of uh, three and remainder after dividing by three. So count of three, reminder, diff mode and three. And if reminder uh, zero, return three times count of three else reminder will be one and return three times count of freeze minus one times four else reminder is two and return three to the power of count of freeze times two uh, so uh, depending on uh, the reminder, uh, we will adjust our uh, product uh, accordingly. Uh, yeah, and that's our uh, solution. So quite straightforward if you uh, see the pattern of number uh, three. So it's uh, doing totally with uh, mathematics. So uh, quite obvious if you spot it. Uh, so now for real, real test, uh, Let's run our code for some unseen test cases as well to double verify it's working. So yeah, uh, it's working. So probably run times are different. So I have uh, run it previously and yeah, it a bit 93% uh, with respect to runtime and 97 with respect to uh, memory. So this time is uh, yeah, 44 milliseconds and previously it was even 32. We can even uh, rerun it so probably between runtimes it's different a bit yeah so as you can see now it's uh, same so with respect to memory uh, a bit slower just uh, zero one megabyte and uh, runtime the same so perfect it works as expected and uh, yep so thank you for joining me today for this coding session and remember coding isn't just about getting the right answer it's about understanding the problem and finding the pattern and crafting the elegant 
solution as well. So if you enjoyed today's video, don't forget to hit the like button and subscribe for more coding challenges, tutorial, tech, machine learning, and much more. And until next time, keep coding, keep practicing, stay motivated, happy coding, and see you next time.